Hello students and welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy. Today we are going to learn about seasoning of timber. In this particular lecture we are going to learn about types of seasoning. So basically you will see that seasoning of timber is done in two by two methods natural seasoning and artificial seasoning. In natural seasoning what you will see is that immediately after the tree is felled that means when it is cut the bark of the tree is removed and the timber is cut into square sections called balks. The sections are stacked one over the other in such a way that there is sufficient gap left between the sections for air to pass through. The stack is covered with a roof and the timber is left to dry. This is known as dry natural seasoning. It takes two to four months for the timber to get seasoned. So you'll see that this type of process which is called as natural seasoning takes a longer time than artificial seasoning. You will also have to bear in mind that even though the timbers are left in uh, exposed to air they should be covered from the top with a roof. So they should not be exposed to direct sunlight. Another process which is followed in natural seasoning is to speed the process of seasoning the logs of timber when the tree is felled the logs of timber are left in the river to float down the river to the sawmill. The water passes through the porous parts of the logs and removes the sap. Afterwards the logs are cut into sections as described in dry natural seasoning and allowed to dry. So the Na natural the the water seasoning is used to speed up the process of seasoning which takes a long time in case of dry seasoning the last process which we are going to see is called as artificial seasoning in artificial seasoning the seasoning takes place very fast so in this case you will see that the time required is between 7 and 15 days so this is done in kilns. The timber is cut into sections and stacked leaving space between the sections for passage of air. The stacks are put in on trucks that means trolleys which run on rails and move through the kiln. Hot air generated by pa passing air over pipes containing steam is circulated by fans. So as you can see here the air from outside is drawn in and then it passes over these pipes which are containing hot steam and then because of this particular fan here the air is drawn out so that the moist air taking all the moisture from the timber is removed from this end. So this is how the artificial seasoning takes place. Now it is important to note that the temperature and moisture in this case has to be strictly controlled. So if the moisture reduces beyond a certain extent then some steam is released into the chamber so as to balance the moisture content. So for further reading you can read Building Construction by Mackey Volume 1. This is the end of the lecture. Thank you. To subscribe to our entire video lecture series, drop a mail on architectsacademy at gmail.com or call us on 9820085841 or 9822088319. You can also visit our website at www.architectsacademy.org. You are also welcome to visit our academy at the address given below. If you have any difficulties, you can always write to us at architectsacademy at gmail.com. Thank you.